Hello YouTube, today for your reviewing pleasure on Limited Run Kits Corner, I have the 132nd scale Curtis Sparrowhawk from Williams Brothers Incorporated. This uh, aircraft is one that uh, most people probably won't know of today, um, but it was actually part of the flying aircraft carriers, the USS Akron and Macon. Um, they also operated off of the USS Lexington, which uh, served all the way into the Second World War. Uh, this was kind of in between the wars when this was actually used. Um, you can see the uh, airship in behind. And uh, if you've never actually done any research on the flying air, uh, aircraft carriers, they're definitely interesting. Also, uh, round two is just reproduced uh, within the last uh, about five, six years. The AMT, USS Akron, Macon uh, flying airships. So taking a look here, you can see some other kits that are available from them. Kit number on this, I'll get that to lock in is 32 F nine C. Wonder if the, uh, liability is still in play. I'll go ahead and switch back to autofocus here and you can see a few of the other kits. I do have a review coming up of the C-46 uh, and the Douglas World Cruiser. So if you've not seen those, you might want to take a look. So taking a look in the box, a little bit of information. Correct that, a lot of information on the actual Sparrowhawks themselves, on the USS Akron, USS Macon. Um, there is a lot of good information though on this. So if you're if you ever actually do look to build it, um, I know personally I don't always read the history on it that is provided in the kits, but this one definitely is a must. Um, lets you know pretty much every bit of information that you would want to know about it. So. Try to hold that steady so you guys could read that at your leisure if you'd like. Taking a look at the decals, they are obviously showing their age. Definitely will want to, um, if you're going to use them, spray a uh, coat of either clear or some sort of decal. Um, sorry, uh, some sort of um, setting solution. So try to keep these from breaking up. So um, I know Microscale Industries creates a, or has made a decal film for that. To be honest, you could probably just uh, hand do a lot of this that you can see there. And it is nice because you do get a lot of number marking options. So taking a look at the kit itself, um, this is uh, definitely not, it definitely is not the cream of the crop when it comes to aircraft, but at the same time, um, it, there's not really any other options for it. So, uh, molded in the white, it has a little bit of, um, kind of like a textured interior to it. Um, the upper and lower wings are two piece. So you can kind of look around, it does have nice ribbing detail for the stretched canvas wings. Or the uh, stretched aluminum. You can see the uh, frameworks in, there we go. And the ailerons, I believe those are. Definitely got some burring coming down on a lot of the supports you'll have to take care of. Looking into the bag here, we have the individual pots to the engine which is really pretty nice. Definitely go in and super detail this thing up. That engine will be pretty prevalent out on the front of this aircraft. So, you know, all the extra wire. You do have a uh, rigging line. You have your windscreen, actual rubber tires. And then, dividing paper there that I had placed in. And then you have the rest of your wing surfaces here. And a really nice kind of, uh, almost like a stress or a skin look on the inside between them. You can really see it like right through there. It doesn't really portray much on the outside. So I'm not sure if that was just, uh, you know, they just kept the molds pretty crude or what they had done, but also the the parts are definitely a little bit on the chunkier side, 
but in one thirty second it's going to be expected. And as you can see, quite a bit of flashing around the parts as well. But again, being limited run, does it is expected. One of the uh, horizontal stabilizers. And then, basically, just saying, if uh, you know, had any issues, let them know and they can get you apart. Uh, seeing the age of these kits, I doubt that that offer is still valid. Um, but in either case, this has been a Williams Brothers Incorporated 132nd scale Curtis Sparrowhawk. Again, interesting subject matter that you don't really see uh, pretty much any other, as far as I know, any other manufacturers ever doing. And uh, definitely interesting when you ever, when you uh, learn the history of the flying aircraft carriers and the dirigibles. So have a wonderful rest of your day.